Hello, everyone. I'm Zhao Chuang. Today, let's draw an Allosaurus. Allosaurus is a very famous genus of carnivorous dinosaurs, and their popularity is probably second only to Tyrannosaurus. They looked similar to Tyrannosaurus at first glance, but there were actually many differences. From the front, we can see that they were not as round as Tyrannosaurus, and their heads were a little more pointed than Tyrannosaurus. Two very large lacrimal horns in front of the eyes were their salient feature. Their forelimbs looked thicker than those of Tyrannosaurus, with three claws, compared to Tyrannosaurus too. The rest of their bodies looked somewhat similar to Tyrannosaurus. For example, both their hind feet were like those of birds. When drawing, we first pay attention to the shape of its head. The shape of its head was very special, not a simple one. Try to draw it as a triangle, especially the two lacrimal horns in front of the eyes should be exaggerated. Now let's draw the Allosaurus. It had a pointed head. There were two kinds of Allosaurus, Allosaurus frigilis and Allosaurus jamasoni. And Allosaurus frigilis is the type species which was characterized by a relatively pointed head and a pair of very large lacrimal horns in front of the eyes. We draw its nostrils. The eyes can be drawn a little rounder, like those of a bird, with a brow-like bump above the eyes. Here are its temporal openings. Allosaurus had a relatively elongated lower jaw. Then we draw its ear holes. Then its neck. Among carnivorous dinosaurs, Allosaurus had relatively long necks. Draw some softer skin on the underside of the neck. Next is its back. Draw its chest just below the neck. And highlight the muscles on the sides of the neck. Draw its shoulder blades and forelimbs behind. Among the carnivorous dinosaurs, Allosaurus front claws were relatively large, and there were three fingers on the front claws. When drawing, we should pay attention to that its two palms were opposite. Then it's its belly. Allosaurus trunks were relatively short and compact. Then we draw its hind legs. When drawing the hind legs, first, start with the pelvis. The top of the pelvis was almost parallel to the ground. The thighs were shorter and the knees were in this position, followed by the shanks. Let's draw it running. The ankle, the sole. It had for toes. The three larger ones were more obvious, and one toe was blocked. This is the other leg. The shank, the ankle. This is the first toe blocked on this side. And the other three. Here, we draw its pubis and ischium.
then we draw its long tail. Close to the top of the side of the tail, we draw a line to distinguish the upper and lower muscles of the tail. Good like this, we finish drawing this Allosaurus.